Hello, I am Wesley Hardin. I am the librarian at the Ryan Z Public Library. And today I will be reading Little Rabbit Waits for the Moon by Beth Shoshan and Stephanie Peel. Little Rabbit couldn't sleep. In the day, the sun is there, warm and bright. But when the night comes, the sky hangs low, dark and empty. If I fall asleep now, there will be no one watching over me, thought Little Rabbit. I'll just have to wait for the moon. And so he did just that. The trouble with being so tired and sleepy was that he didn't know exactly when the moon would come. Little Rabbit waited and waited. More time passed and the moon still hasn't come. He thought he had better ask someone how much longer he might have to wait. This is my first day ever, said the small flower in the fields. Maybe we'll all have grown into a tree by the time your moan comes. That sounded like a very long time. Little Rabbit thought he had better ask someone else, just to be sure. Look deep into the water shimmered a little lake nearby. Maybe your moon has fallen in and can't get out. That didn't sound like what he wanted to hear. Little Rabbit thought he'd better ask someone else, just to be sure. Why don't you walk with me? Twisted a long and widening path. We can find out where I'm leading, and maybe your moon is at the other end. That sounded like it might be a long way away. Little Rabbit thought he'd better ask someone else, just to be sure. I've just blown... I've just blown into these parts, breezed the wind that had picked up. Who knows, I might be a big, fierce storm by the time your moon comes. That didn't sound like something he wanted to wait for. Little Rabbit thought he'd better ask someone else, just to be sure. We can't see your moon yet rumbled the great whirling hills, and we can see far into the distance from up here. That didn't sound very promising. Little Rabbit began to think that he, that the moon might never come, and he was getting very, very tired. And then, from behind the hills, carried by the wind along the twists of the path, reflected in the lake and shining on the petals of the small flower, the most perfect moon slid into the night sky. But Little Rabbit had fallen asleep, dreaming of the moon that would watch over him throughout the night. Thank you for joining us for story time. Come back tomorrow for another fun adventure.